They're scenes which have captivated the world for weeks. Protesters in their thousands taking to the streets of Hong Kong and taking their anger out on the symbols of power. What started as a rally against a proposed mainland China extradition bill has morphed into a wider pro-democracy movement. Residents upset at Beijing's increasing influence in the affairs of the semi-autonomous territory. It's to, uh, for the government to totally withdraw the bill and uh, uh, just admit that it is not going to uh, uh, come back and uh, formally withdraw it. They could also, I think, set up uh, an independent commission to look at all the events that has taken place, uh, chaired by a reputable uh, uh, judge. In the medium to longer uh, term, uh, as I said, the only solution is to realise and accept that the current system of government in Hong Kong is no longer working. Chief Executive Carrie Lam has been widely criticised for doing little to address residents' long-running issues and her inability to find a resolution to the current unrest. But lawmaker Dennis Kwok has told Sky News she shouldn't be sacked. I don't think the people uh, out on the streets really care very much about whether Carrie Lam stepped down or not because we all know that she's a lame duck government and will be a lame duck government for the foreseeable future. Beijing officials earlier threatened to send troops into Hong Kong if the unrest continues. A chilling threat, but one Mr Kwok believes won't be followed through. Uh, sources that um, the absolute red line for Beijing is that they do not want troops on the ground because that will destroy not only Hong Kong, but also destroy the reputation of the Central People's Government. They do not need and do not want another Tiananmen Square Activists have now turned their attention further afield, protesting at the international airport in a bid to attract global attention. Hoping to uh, bring the message to uh, all the international visitors that are coming through Hong Kong that um, this is a very important moment for the city. The territory, home to thousands of Australians and an international financial hub, has already seen a drop in tourism. Australia and the US are among several nations to amend their travel advice to Hong Kong amid a crisis unlikely to end soon. Going forward, I do not see these protests ending anytime soon. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News.